Wedding consultant and journalist Kate Smallwood thinks that wedding bells should always come before babies, while mum of one, Kelly Rose Bradford, says there's no need to get married before you have children. I feel a bit of a ding-dong coming on. So, <laughs> let battle commence! <laughs> Kate, do you think you should be married? Yes, I believe in marriage. I think it's wonderful. I think in an ideal world, we meet the person we love. Uh, we, we meet someone, we fall in love, we get married, and we set up a really secure, stable family environment. And that's the important bit, is it? The marriage bit? The marriage, the stability. It's, it's about romance, but, and it's about stability and setting up the, the very best home you can for, for a child. Yes, what can, be, what can be greater than having a child? And what? you need commitment. You need commitment, you Kelly. You do need commitment, but you do not need a piece of paper to somehow give some kind of legislation to that commitment. But you isn't, isn't, isn't being married to somebody more than a piece of paper? Well, it Absolutely. is. Perhaps it is. It's all about having a committed relationship. And I think if you're having children, then that's what you need to be looking at. Look, one in three marriages in the UK fail. We know that. We know what our divorce rates are. I think that if you're entering into a relationship with somebody, you should be making sure that that relationship is secure before you have children. But that does not mean you have to be marching down the aisle, first of all. You know, we're living I, in 2014, not 1814. I do that commitment. So why can't you stand up? Why can't you stand up and make the declaration and say, I love you, I'm going to be with you? and I'm going to do all those things before I have a child. Here's, here's a point, if, Kelly. If, if, you're, you if you're saying it's only a bit of paper, then... If you're saying it's only a bit of paper, why not sign it, then? Well, if, if you wish to do so, that's all well and good, but the point I'm making is nobody should feel that they have to do that before they have a child, because then what are you saying about the relationships that people do have, very secure, happy relationships, where they have two or three children, they've been together 10, 20, 30 years, have decided not to get married? Are you saying that there's no foundation, no not security? Not at all. I, I, understand, I understand. I understand. I understand that marriage... It, it's personal. It's so personal. Marriage is not for everyone, but I just think it's the absolute ideal. I think children like being in a family where their parents are married, where they can share the same name if they wish to. And I just... It is more than a bit of paper. Legally, it is better to be married in... in, in and, of course, the, we've got two kinds world. of marriage. We've got a civil ceremony, we've got a Christian faith Absolutely. marriage, which is important to people who have yeah. faith that they're married. But you're saying, if you don't have faith, you shouldn't Absolutely. need to have to get married. And some people, their faith will dictate how they live their lives and the path that their lives take, and that is absolutely marvellous for them. That it's is what they need to do. It's another marriage wedding over there. <laughs> absolutely, that is what they choose to do. But I think for most people, the decision to perhaps buy a house, have children, then perhaps marriage will come later. I don't think we should ever undermine that decision because what we should be promoting Ooh. is happy, secure family units, not judging those who have a piece of paper against those who do not have a piece I, of paper. I, I agree we should be promoting the family unit. So make it a family, make it a family and tie the knot. And if you're going to have children after you get married, I'm sorry, there's, there's nothing less romantic than changing nappies on your honeymoon. This is about being the two of you and enjoying a but bit of romance, saying... jet off around the world, be but... a couple, and, and then have babies afterwards. I, I absolutely adore my children, but they're a passion but killer. But you seem to be, by saying that about, you know, changing nappies on the honeymoon, you seem to be saying that the whole sort of, like, you know, party thing about having a wedding is actually more important than, than what the marriage vows actually mean. You no. know, if you Marriage if you're is choosing everything. to it, get it's... married, why bother, you know, have, if you've already got your children, have a nice big family holiday afterwards. It's Surely the, you don't need it's to worry vows, about but nappies it is a, it is a celebration. It's the vows. They can be religious vows, they can be civil vows, whatever you, you want them to be. Well, there. Do you so, give it a... So it's just two yellow pages just done that That's with anyone. Anyway. All it is. Sure? Just a little bit of friction. And you can take as much as you want. <laughs> <laughs> good sport, you know. And he said, um, well, would you eat a real worm sandwich? So, well, I had to, didn't I? But no worm was harmed in, in the, the making, making of that. <laughs>